Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Here on the channel I share with you some of the coins that are part of my collection and give you a little bit of information and commentary about the coins. So I get this question a lot on my channel. What's the 1965 quarter worth? Unfortunately it's worth a lot less than the year before because uh, in 1965 as uh, many of you probably know if you've been watching this channel for a while that's when the U.S. Mint switched over from silver to mostly copper quarters. In fact, they took all of the silver out and made it 91.67% copper, 8.33% nickel. Uh, the previous year, it was 6.25 grams and 90% silver, 10% copper. So they really upped the copper content in 1965 and as a result that really decreased the production cost of the quarter but also decreased the value to coin collectors now a lot of people uh, want to know is it worth anything even though uh, it doesn't have any silver in it unfortunately the answer to that is generally no but we can get into that a little bit more later but first I want to share with you one quarter that's actually silver uh, so this one right here, you can kind of tell by the different uh, c color. This one in the center, it's a 1956, so it's pre-65. That, mean that means it is 90% silver. The weight on these uh, is 6.25 grams, which gives it a melt value of $2.86. So uh, it's probably going to be worth a little bit more than that to coin collectors. One way... Uh, that you can tell if it's silver or not is by flipping it over on its side and the 65 quarter since they've been in circulation for so long are probably pretty well worn out and you can see the copper uh, core showing through so on the outside of these quarters is a copper nickel clad uh, combination which gives it the color that it does and then the core of the quarter is just your standard uh, copper all the way through and through. So there were 1.8 billion of these 1965 quarters made. Uh, yep, that's billion with a B, 1.8 billion. So there are absolute ton of these made. Um, in a, a mid state 67, which is a very high uh, rated coin by coin grading companies, um, that coin in mint state 67 is going to be worth about $50. So although uh, there were so many of these produced, there were just an absolute ton. If it's in great condition, it can always be worth more, uh, you know, very multiples of the va face value of the coin. But where the real money is uh, with the 1965 quarters is with the transition error coins. Uh, now, there was a quarter graded by uh, PCGS at a mint state 58. That coin uh, was sold for $14,000. And the reason why it was sold for that much is because there was a transition error coin. It was a uh, coin that was dated 1965, but was made on a 1964 or before 90% silver planchet. So they used the wrong metal content to make that coin that sold for $14,000, uh, but they had the 1965 date on it. So that's the key thing when looking at it, um, if you want to kind of find an error coin. But often uh, when I find these coin roll hunting, it's quite disappointing because you just kind of think to yourself, what would have happened if this uh, was just a year earlier? But unfortunately, I've heard from uh, many coin collectors out there who are who are on the older side and were around when they switched over from 1964 to 1965. And a lot of people in 1965 and on, uh, whenever they would find a quarter uh, that was pre-1964, they knew it was silver and they took it out of circulation right then and there. And they've probably been holding on to it since. So it's 2017 now. Uh, people were kind of doing coin roll hunting all the way back in 1965. 1966 looking for those silver quarters kind of the same thing that we're doing right now now i've gone through a lot of quarters um in my time coin roll hunting but it's not really one of my favorite coins to look for uh just mainly because you find a lot of state quarters and a lot of america the beautiful quarters 
and people have really caught on uh, over the past decade or so, or maybe even starting back in 1965, that the silver quarters were worth money. Um, so people have been really plucking those out. You can still find uh, error quarters, like I said, uh, that are going to be worth a lot more than face value, or quarters that are graded mint state 67 or 68 or even better, uh, that are going to be worth more than face value. But unfortunately, um, you know, I wouldn't really recommend uh, corn roll hunting the quarters. Uh, it's much more of a thrill, I found, pulling out buffalo nickels from uh, nickel rolls, as well as you can find those uh, wartime nickels that actually do have silver in them. I feel like a lot more people aren't aware of those. There's also kind of a lower uh, barrier to entry for the nickels and pennies. Uh, because you can get a box of those for $100 for the nickel uh, and just $25 for the penny. So I kind of realized I went on a tangent there about coin roll hunting, but it's definitely fun. Um, you'll kind of find your own uh, priority as far as coins once you get into it if uh, you haven't got into it yet. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hope you, hopefully you have a great day and best of luck with the coin collecting. Enjoy, everyone.